It's in August, beneath a blazing sun, that the grape harvest begins in the Meknes region, at the foot of the Atlas Mountains. In many fields, the wine grape harvest will last until the end of September. The wine growing industry provides some 20,000 farming jobs and more than 10,000 permanent jobs in the production, bottling, and distribution sectors. Despite the state-of-the-art technology currently available, a traditional method is still used. The picking is all done by hand, okay, for two major reasons. First, it's true that we could mechanize the whole thing, but as they say, working by hand is better than by machine in terms of quality. There is also an important social aspect these days. In fields like this one, we employ more than a thousand people. The Cellars of Meknes, a company founded by Ibrahim Zniver, is by far the largest producer of wine in Morocco with almost 85% of the market. In 1967, the company developed the first wines bearing the brand names Kerouan and Benim Tir. Since then, the quality of Moroccan wines has been increasingly improving. You can see that all the harvest is collected in special cases, 18 kilogram crates which are transported to the cellars. This way, the grapes remain in perfect shape. Since 1998, the Zniber family has been commercializing the brand name Chateau and hence created the first controlled appellation of origin in Morocco. In spite of this success, the export figures remain very low in contrast with its direct competitor, the Castel Group, which exports almost all of its production. Today, Morocco is maybe suffering from a stereotypical image of the wines it used to produce 20 or 30 years ago. Despite sales figures which almost reach 100 million euros in the wine producing sector, Morocco is still confronted with long-standing paradoxes. Alcohol consumption is prohibited in theory, but the 45 million euros which end up in the Moroccan treasury every year certainly help. It's true that this has brought in a lot of money for the state. As a tax system, it's really big. No one is against something which is exported and produced for a non-Muslim clientele. The problem is, like I have said, it is clear, the religion is clear, it is forbidden. The consumption of alcohol has no place in the life of a Muslim. And yet, with an annual production of around 34 million bottles, 30 million are consumed each year inside the kingdom.